Hey you. Yes you, I'm talking to you. You look like you want to print my balancing bird. Okay, let's see how to do it. So I have it here opened in Cura, and the first thing that I'm going to do is going to be to change its scale because even though we're going to print it and we're going to see how to easily remove the supports, I don't want it to be printing all day long. So I'm going to reduce the size instead of being 116 millimeters in X, I'm going to make it around 70. So the most important thing, we're going to print it upside down. So why upside down? Well, simply because the most important thing is the beak and we don't want to break the beak <laughs> while removing the supports. As simple as that. Okay, so we leave it there and when it comes to the settings, I'm going to leave everything at default. So yes, quality 0.2 millimeters, that's more than enough. Okay, so the infill quantity, it doesn't really matter because since it's plastic and it's so lightweight, then it will balance regardless of how much you choose. So I'm going to leave it at 20%, I think it's okay. But if you want to add more, just add more. <laughs> and if you want to add less, add less. I mean, the important thing is that you print it with a little bit of infill at least, so it doesn't print mid-air when it prints the, the top part of the bird. All right, when it comes to material, I mean, just the, the settings of your filament. I mean, there's no, there's no ruling here. So I'm going to choose 75% for the, for the first layer because it helps to, to make it stick to the bed and then the rest of the, the layers will print at 50 degrees. But I mean, it all depends on which material you're using and what the optimal settings for that material are. When it comes to printing speed, if you're having trouble printing it, then it's a good practice to lower the speed. In fact, I'm going to, to lower it to 60 millimeters per second because we're going to we're printing it in very small size, so it will help the adhesion to the bed. Now, when it comes to choosing support type, I usually print with three supports because they use less material, less filament, and they print faster and they're usually easier to remove. And within all the other settings, I don't change anything in particular. I mean, just this support line distance which basically means what the distance is going to be between the, the support and the, the model. So in here, I left everything by default and it made it zero, but I'm going to choose one millimeter. And if you see that you're having troubles removing the support from the model, you can always choose a higher value. In fact, I'm going to choose here two millimeters. And by the way, if you can't find the option anywhere, I'm, I have configured it to show me the expert mode, but you can also write it up here and you can, you can search for it in the this, in this search bar. And when it comes to supports, that's all there is to it. Now, here at Build Plate Adhesion, speaking about me, I usually have it as a skirt, which basically means that it creates like a outline of the model with some offset, of course, but having troubles with the model. Sticking to the bed, it's a good option to choose to print a raft instead, which will basically like print like th around three layers of like an island on the bed, and then the model will get printed on said island. That's true, this option will increase filament cost and printing time, but I mean, it's a really good option if you're having these sorts of troubles. All these options are really, really, really good. But if your bed is not properly leveled, then these options, they don't serve any purpose. So the first thing that I will tackle if you're having troubles printing your model or it's taken to the bed, will be checking that the bed is properly leveled. Now, if your bed is leveled, then yes, you can play around with these options to to fine tune them to see which one, which work for you the best and which way they work for you the best. So yes, everything else, I'll leave it by default. Now it's just a matter of slicing it, saving it to your external USB or printing it via cable and printing.
well looks like the model has just finished printing so now the next step is getting like a container and sinking the model into hot water to allow it to have the supports removed easier oh well how do i make a transition out of this ah i have an idea So here I am in the bathroom. I'm going to sink the model into the hot water and we're going to remove the support. So yes, the idea is basically to have it like a little bit of time, enough time, so the supports can be removed easier than usual. And as you can see, the model stuck the raft perfectly without any issues. So as you can see, it's a good option. Look, look, now it can be, can be removed easier. So yes, the idea is not to have it for too long because that could potentially deform the model and we don't want that so yes and now to test it out and to really check that it works i'm going to put it here it's working like a charm so that's about it the bird has printed it balances so that's basically it so i think the bird got printed a little bit wrong because as you can see it balances more from one side but overall it works like a charm so if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and leave a comment with your thought. See you in the next one.